Alright, I'm back again, and um, if you notice, I've got the uh, camera zoomed into the stern of the hull. And what I'm going to do is, um, I thought I was, gonna, I was prepared for it, I guess I have to get a point my little pointer here. Uh, right here, um, see if I can get it on camera. Right there, it says Revel, but it's a copyright. Revel Inc. 1959 China. Now I, I verified. I know I mentioned it in my first video that it was. It said 1959, and it does. I was. I wanted to be sure. Not that it matters. So I got my old. Uh, let's see. Um, magnifying glasses on and zoom in there. And sure enough, it says 1959. So, this mold has been around for that long. Um, <laughs> uh, now, I don't know if China's been making it this long, but, you know, what I, uh, this is ridiculous. Now, what I have is, I uh, asked my wife if I could borrow this. She basically said I can have it, especially because of what I'm going to be doing with it. And it's a um, nail filing system. It has steps, which is, I guess, fairly uh, decent. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to lightly sand that off. This is bigger than I really wanted, so you know, to get in there, sand that off. I may have to take my uh, exacto knife and scrape some of it. I'm trying not to ruin the entire finish. All I want to do is just smooth that out. All this is going to be painted. But my my issue is that I have to do this at all. Um, you know, I don't recall seeing this on the... I don't recall seeing this on... Um, pictures on the on the box. I'll explore have to explore those a little bit more. But my goodness, you know why would you do this on a model? You want a good looking model? It's an American warship. Why in the world would you have a copyright? molded into the visible side of the plastic promoting China Oops. so I'm basically just lightly sanding that coming off slowly but surely. Unfortunately it's taken off a lot of the finish. But I'm trying to leave the detail on the hull where the you know where they show the steel plates coming together or at least some of them. You know, I don't know how much that detail is actually going to disappear when I when I paint it. Now this right here is awesome um, on these things. Let's see if I can get it into focus here. Uh, all right, Oop. I can't get it into focus. Sorry about that, guys. I guess that says step six. Buff nail. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to use that to kind of buff out some of the scratches if I can, kind of smooth it out a little bit. Let's see where I'm at. And I think 
I think I, I think I did it. I don't see anything really showing up. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. As my kids go nuts in the background, chasing each other about. Again, I'm going to use that uh, step six. Let's see if I can. Smooth out some of those rough edges. That'll help with painting it. You know, I run my I run my thumb across it, and it feels it feels good. I don't feel any raised lettering. I just don't see it anymore. Um, I wish I could zoom in a little closer. Maybe the camera will pick something up. Wrong way. But see it blurs out. Anyway, another task done. I got the portholes drilled out and that scratched off. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'm probably going to post it online. Um, but the um, because the handrails are going to take me a little bit. I've already tried doing some of the handrails with a with a little bit, trying to scratch some of the plastic off in between those rails, and it's not working out quite right. So I may not be able to do anything with those, but um, we'll see. And. Um